Good morning, and welcome to Monday. My hair is probably a mess. I have not touched Japanese properly in a while, just like basic Duolingo lessons in Japanese Esperanto. Some days I was using that perk where you get to skip a day, but you don't lose your streak. And I'm definitely paying for it in Duolingo. I'm pretty sure that's show Goto. Show Kudo. I was close. I'm having to review just a ton of Anki because I have not properly touched Anki. So it's very grindy, but it's what happens when you don't touch it in like a week at least. But hopefully I'll get on the grind. I I am going to try doing Anki today. I already did basic Duolingo with Esperanto. And I'm going to review all the kanji as well. And I'm going to leave it at that for today. Right now I'm just going to build up, back up the uh, Movation Drive and Daily Habit. And then on my next day off in like a week, I can focus on bringing everything back up to full scale for my days off. So because I got my new power chair, that means it's extra important that I exercise each and every day using the bike I have. Don't know if it's visible on camera to keep myself cardio wise and then weights to keep myself muscle wise and joint wise as well, which cardio helps with the joints anyways. But I also need to pressure release more because my old chair had Roho and this chair does not. Roho being a cushion that made it harder to develop sores on your ass from sitting all day. But with these handle armrest I can pressure release easier and, then, and they advise that 30 seconds every 30 minutes or 15 seconds every 15 minutes I have not done it once today and I've been awake for over two hours so let's do two sessions of it for 30 seconds and pressure releases in of themselves are also good for basic exercises and keeping your blood flowing because when you're in a power chair all day, it's extra essential that you exercise for a minimum of a certain amount of time just to keep your body from getting more tired and used to not doing anything. Your body still needs something to keep it active and awake. I would typically have a stopwatch going, but I have no way of knowing how many seconds I've been doing this. So it's been 30 seconds. Taking this off because it is hot. I should not be wearing this when exercising. Oh, yep, I feel my shoulders now. No. Oh. And pressure releases aren't really hard to do necessarily unless you're really weak, which is why you exercise if you can help it. But. It is hard to get onto it and remember, so developing it as a habit is really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, one, twenty-two. 23. Nope, my wrists are hurting. Okay, we're just gonna go to the bike now. Get some blood flow and everything in my body. Because exercising, if done right, does re energize your mind and wake you up a bit. Because otherwise, your body gets too used to doing nothing, and, and, it, and because of that, you get more tired. Because your body has no reason to provide you energy if you're not doing anything. Not to mention blood flow was what helped keeps you awake and functioning. I I would record myself using this bike, but the thing with that is how am I going to watch YouTube and have a timer going if I have a camera going as well? So we're not going to do that. Just know I use this bike for 15 to 20 minutes. Before I forget, I am putting my hair up. 
that way nothing gets in my damn face while I'm working out. So I've found out that when using the bike right here, it is not a good height or angle and my legs end up spasming because I am so far moved over my hip. So I ended up uh, trying it over here and it works infinitely better. I did almost the full 20 minutes and decided to stop. Because for the first week or two at least, I do want to not overwork myself. So I went for just about 17, 18 minutes. So not the full 20.